Washington! As I fade, look at me fading into, completely fading into uh, fuzziness. <laughs> How y'all doing, everybody? It's Dave TV for, oh, this is Dave, this is take two, right? Wow, look at that. Oh, my, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're really out of, out of focus there. Dave TV. Buy a brand new t-shirt here. Got a big pack of Hanes t-shirts, and I noticed that every one of them in the pack has a little um string coming up here. I, think, I don't know. Maybe there's some manufacturing defect. I'm going to have to uh, uh, send my reporting team on that and uh, figure that one out. And call up Hanes.com and say, hey, you got a manufacturing defect. Look at, yeah, there you can see it. See it? Look at that. There's like a little string hanging. Oh, look. It's pulling out. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. This is a brand new t-shirt, and they're all like this. They all have this funny string. Oh, my. Wow, that's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> ah! Okay, it's the uh, 14th of October, 2013. I just wanted to make a quick pitch to you all, you kind folks. You know, the government shutdown does have an impact on DCRDV. A lot of our advertisers here are small business folks, and they do have some sort of connection to the government. Their spouses or whatever work for the government. And we are seeing a tightening of budgets all over the place. And a lot of folks, a lot of folks that do support DCRTV do work at, say, the FCC or the Department of Justice or something like that. A lot of people that visit the site do have connections to the government. And we are noticing that October, which is already a fairly slim month donation and advertising-wise, is becoming a little tighter than usual. So in your heart of hearts, if you could manage to part with a few bucks and help support DCRDV. You know, whether you like certain parts of the site or not, you know, sometimes people say, ah, I don't know if I'm going to support DCRDV because the mailbag is a little too raucous these days. Just remember this. DCRTV does help preserve local radio memories. You know, we 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 do that, and television memories too. Um, we spend a lot of time here on DCRTV Plus, which is just a huge pile of cool graphics and jingles and audio clips and video clips and tribute pages and everything else. And there's tons and tons of stuff about the like the old WMAL, the old WJSV before it became WTOP, um, WAAM TV in Baltimore before it became Channel 13 WJZ, uh, the old WMAL TV. TV and you know stuff like that you know we, we, we got all the links to all this cool stuff and I'm not saying nobody else does that but you know probably nobody else focuses on Washington and Baltimore local radio and TV memories like we do and it just that alone helps support our site okay we've been here for 16 years and the only reason we've been here for 16 years is because you help support us about 40 to 45 percent of our annual uh, revenue comes from donations from folks like you. So if you haven't helped us support, support us lately, or even if you have, send us a few bucks. Click on that support link at DCRTV there. It's on just about every page. And uh, you can put some bucks on PayPal, send us some stuff over nice and safely there, or you can send us a check in the mail. Even take some cash, wrap it up in some paper and stick it in an envelope. That's fine. Do whatever you want to do. But uh, we do appreciate it. And, you know, um, keep DCRTV. You know, as I said, if someday I decide to go do something else because I have to, because I need some more money, whatever, I mean, you know, um, this is an independent site uh, with no backing from anybody, really. Um, if I do do that, we'll still keep DCRTV going. DCRTV is going to be here as long as there's breath in this beautiful, sexy, muscular body of mine. But... You know, it might not, it won't get updated as much. You know, we may only update it a couple times a week if I'm busy doing something else. So, you know, DCRTV will always be here so long as I can keep it going. But, uh, you know, your donations help me provide to focus more of my time on this site and allow it to be self-supporting. And that's good because I can update it frequently and keep it going, you know, many times, keep it updated many times a day. So do send us a couple of bucks or more. I um, appreciate that very much. Um, anyhow, so today's October. It's October today, October 14th. Sun's finally out. We decided to take some time and show you some, pull some stuff from our giant DCR TV archives. And we're going to focus on O's today. Some stuff from the O section of the archive. And there's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Remember, they used to be on WJFK. Um, so there they are, Opie and Anthony. Opie Hughes, what's his name? 
I, I, Anthony Cumia or something like that. And then the other guy's Opie. I know his last name's Hughes, but I can't remember. Probably, probably some relation to me somewhere down the line. And there's another picture of Opin, Opie and Anthony, who, again, we used to be on WJFK way back when. And then we've got Big Don O'Brien, great Big Don O'Brien, one of the great radio greats. Remember Don back there when he was on uh, the old B104, WBSB in Baltimore there? He did that Brian and O'Brien show with Brian Wilson. Not the Brian Wilson on WMAL, but the Brian Wilson that's the Baltimore radio vet. Anyhow, Brian and O'Brien. There's uh, Don O'Brien there. And uh, Don just had a battle with throat cancer and has been sidelined for a little while, but we hear he's getting better and stronger every day. And hopefully soon he'll be back on the radio airwaves where he has. He's been all over the dial. He's been all over TV and radio over the years. He's been, remember he was a weatherman there on Channel 7 for a while, I think. And he's been on just about every cool radio station in town. Uh, so there's big Don O'Brien sending out our best to him as we're remembering the O's. Oh, look at him. There's Don O'Brien. Wow. Wow. Look at him there. Back when he was on WPGC. I guess this is back from the uh, ooh, 70s or something, right? It certainly looks like a, he's been all over the place. So there's a, there's Big Don O'Brien. I didn't know he spelled his name with a Y, though. Hmm. I thought it was I, but anyhow. Okay, going to OK, OK, OK. The O's today. Remember OK 100? Remember when um, 100.3, which is now big, used to be W-O-O-K, and they had a kind of a soul music urban contemporary format. The Sound of the City. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's a transformer station in Middle Branch. <laughs> the Old Control Room. Okay, that's under O. The Old Control Room of uh, W. the old WTOP, Sean Malloy, Craig Kaufman. So that's our O memory there. Old Control Room. And some more old control room there from W. the old, uh, this is the old WTOP TV or W. Yeah, I guess it is. Back Channel 9 was, was old WTOP TV. And uh, some memories of that. This is um, an old EBS uh, transmitter thingy receiver. Old, old EBS receiver there. So we're continuing with the O's today under old. <laughs> and some more old equipment in the uh, DCR TV photo archive, the O's today, and lots more old equipment. And there we got a, some old, an old WMAL bumper sticker there, um, back when they had the Redskins on the station. And then, uh, what's this one? Old, okay, this is an old sign for WSVA. Uh, this is some more old stuff, radio-wise. Um, this is Oleg at the White House. Okay, there we go, Mr. Oleg. This is Olivia Fox. Uh, remember Olivia? She's been all over the place. She's been on KYS and MMJ, and she had just had a kidney transplant. And so uh, all the best to her, Olivia, there. Uh, back, we're doing the O's today from the W uh, from the DCRDV O uh, archive. Uh, uh, oh, why don't we can't leave the O's without Mike O'Mara. And there's Mike O'Mara there uh, in the middle there in the green T-shirt on a boat somewhere. And he's wearing a he's wearing an Opie and Anthony Wow Whip Em Out Wednesdays uh, T-shirt there. So there's Mike O'Mara on a boat. And uh, <laughs> ID required for consumption. Okay. Uh, O'Mara, there's more Mike O'Mara. Uh, we're, we're saluting the O's today in memory of October, surrounded by a bevy of beauties. Here's Mike O'Mara uh, at a Caps game, uh, looking like he's straight out of Star, beam straight at, down from the Starship Enterprise there in that uh, in that in that outfit he's wearing. And uh, there's a on a cloudy day you cannot see Tenley Town. Oh, that is a bunch of those. Uh, more Opie and Anthony there for saluting the O's. Okay, some Oprah memories now, saluting the O's for October. Oprah on All My Children. Remember when she did, she worked at Channel 13 there. People Are Talking, uh, the TV show there with um, Richard, uh, Richard, Richard Scher, right, Richard Scher. And some more Oprah, back when she had a big afro there and she worked at Channel 13. This, I guess, was back in the 70s, right? And uh, I don't know why I have Bill O'Reilly. There he is. And there we got it. Some more oldies, an original logo for Oldies 100. Back when WBIG was, you know, they now call themselves kind of classic hits or classic rock, but they used to actually be a really cool oldie station back in the 80s or so. So, you know, um, okay, I don't know what that, why, why that is in the O's, I don't know. The Orioles, okay, saluting the O's today. Uh, there's Osei. 
from where was he at? Uh, well, he was over there at uh, at uh, KYS for many years. And uh, Outlaw, the Outlaws is coming. What is that? The craziest show shoot down of the century. The Outlaws is coming. Some sort of a movie. Okay, look what it's okay. It's playing. These are the movie theaters in the Washington area back when this movie was playing. I guess in the seventies or something, maybe the sixties. And uh, the Capitol Plaza, the Buckingham, the Newton, the Pike, the Senator, um, Vienna. Okay, yeah, this has got to be like the sixties. Remember the old Vienna Twin? Yeah, wow. Okay, as we salute the O's today, Owens. Uh, what was his name? I, he was a, he was an anchor there on Channel um, on Channel Nine. I can't think of his first name. Dennis Owens. We remember him. Uh, remember on WGMS for many many years. Uh, one of the great radio voices, Dennis Owens. Uh, classical did the, I think he did the mornings there on the old WGMS when it was on 103.5 for WTOP. Uh, there we got Joel Loxley, one of our favorites. Joel Loxley, who's the head of uh, Hubbard's radio cluster and uh, WTOP here in the Washington area. I've been with Bonneville Air and for that for many years, and he's one of the. Uh, he's a really cool guy. So Joel, there we're saluting the O's today, and uh, that's it. That's our O's. <laughs> there you go. So uh, maybe November we'll go to the ends and, and do the ends. That might be a kind of a cool little. Uh, a cool little thing there. Oh, my word. Ah. Ah. Oh, i got to fix my T-shirt. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV for the 14th of October, 2013. Saluting the O's. <laughs> and don't forget to help support the site this October. Help us out. And again, if you want to make a contribution of $16, we'll give you a year a DCR TV Plus for 16 Okay. So that's our that's our 16th anniversary special and carrying it over from September when we actually celebrated our 16th anniversary here at DCRDP. I never thought when I started this site in 1997 that we'd I'd still be doing it at six, 16 years later. Oh, my God. But it's been a blast every single day. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching Dave TV. Uh, book them, Dano.